you guys doing tonight? Um, if you don't know who I am already, my name is Eric, and I'm here with Jonathan Guitar tonight, one of my one of my good friends. Um, we got a little treat for you guys tonight. You know, I told you I was gonna do some tastings slash reviews, so I wanted to go ahead and start getting that going. Um, so tonight we have Screwball. It's a peanut butter whiskey, a first of its kind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here a little bit and show you what this is. Um, if you're not familiar with it, um, it probably hasn't hit the shelves here in Florida, but it's a husband and wife who, who created this. She's a biochemist, and they're out in California. And it took her about 10 years to perfect this. It took a lot of work, and they finally, it hit the shelves in Cali about, about a year ago. And, you know, people love it out there. It's actually in their top five sellers. So um, I actually got my hands on a bottle of it here in Florida, so I want to go ahead and give us, give a nice review on this. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour it and check out the nose on it, the palate and the finish and let you guys know what we honestly think, you know, non-biased review, just honest opinions. And I brought, you know, I brought my friend over here tonight because, you know, two palettes, you know, everybody's palate's different. So I want to give, you know, different opinions on it. So we will go ahead and dive in and see. Neither one of us have tried this yet. This will be our first time. Wow. <laughs> what do you smell? Popcorn right away. Popcorn? <laughs> yeah. It smells like we just popped open a bottle of popcorn. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I didn't even have to put it up to my nose and I could smell that. All right. I'll go ahead and let that breathe for a second. Right. So I'll just go over the price point real quick. Um, this bottle will run you anywhere between, I don't know, $27 to $40 or so, depending on the, you know, the retailer. But, I mean, we're going to see if that's worth it or not. Um, why don't you go ahead and we'll just give it a... Give it a, get the smell going. Wow. Yeah, I do smell the popcorn. Smell the popcorn? <clears throat> mm, that's different. That is different. It's definitely one of its kind, I'll tell you that. Mm. Wow. What do you get? Are you getting some caramel I from do, it? I definitely smell the caramel. Caramel all the way. Mm -hmm. I get like a creamy Ooh. peanut buttery smell. I am getting some peanut yeah. butter on definitely sweet that popcorn is kind of mixing in there yeah with the peanut butter like, like peanut butter like you know like when you go to the fair and you get pe you know get that popcorn that's yeah. coated in like caramel like caramel exactly. popcorn that's what i'm getting from this it's not like you open up a, a, you know a bottle of jiff and you smell peanut butter that's not this smell no much um, different i was thinking when i popped the bottle open it would be really overwhelming peanut butter but no not really uh smelling peanut not smelling much. peanut butter really um why don't we go ahead and give it a try? All right. All right. Wow. Ooh. That's good. Wow. At first, you know, I don't, I don't really taste it, but as it settles in, I you do taste that peanut butter. <laughs> it tastes really good. That is good. Wow. It reminds me, I'm getting like a chocolate notes at the back end. Hmm. It's almost like you're eating popcorn at the movie theater and you got some chocolates oh. with it. You're throwing some chocolate M&Ms in your mouth while you're... Yeah. Even like, almost like a Reese's cup, you know? Absolutely. Like I Reese's. love Reese's. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That tastes good. That's, that's too good. That's, like, that's a bourbon? Wow. <laughs> now, is it too sweet for you? Not for me, but Not I can me. see where it would be too sweet. Yeah. I, I'm a, I like little things, you know, stuff a little more sweeter, so... I am not a big sweetness guy. This is something I could... Definitely pull out here and there when people are over, pop it out, let them give it a try, and I'd have a glass as well. But this isn't something I would go to every day because it's like literally opening a bag of popcorn and chocolate and peanut butter. Like, it's sweet to me. Like, really sweet. That's excellent. It has no burn. Like your typical whiskey, you get that back-end burn. It doesn't have any of that here. There is none of that present for me, at least. Are you getting that burn at the end? Not really, no. So you're not getting... It, it doesn't even have a no. medium finish. Let's just call it like a really mellowed out, smooth whiskey finish. Like, it's almost like it's not even whiskey. <laughs> it's like... That might be my favorite bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I do like that. This is it's good. It's different. Well, it is definitely different from It's definitely just a whiskey, not a bourbon. But, um, Why do I keep calling it a bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, oopsies. But this is good. Great whiskey. Love it. I get that chocolatey popcorn taste to it. 
Popcorn is definitely in the mix. <laughs> Absolutely, and I didn't expect that. Popcorn really, you know, whiskey. I didn't really think about that, but not only do I taste it, but I just, I, it smells like it so much. Yeah, and that's 70 proof. If you're looking for something sweet to eat with your dessert after dinner, or with your, you know, I, this is it. I mean, this is, this is it right here. Yeah. It's worth the buy. It is. It's not something that Actually, I would... Actually, I could imagine that poured over some ice cream. Absolutely. That would be delicious. This is a this is a dessert whiskey. Yeah. This is something you pop out at the end of the night. You know, your family's hanging out with you. You want to try something good. You want to introduce something new to them. You know, this is exciting stuff. I mean, this... If you can get your hands on a bottle of this, do it. Because this, this by far, is definitely... It's definitely tasty. Tasty yes. stuff, right? Excellent. Yeah, I mean, if you had to, if you had to give this whiskey a rating out of a hundred, now this isn't your go-to every day after work. Mm -hmm. Had a hard long day at work. I want to sit down and have a glass of whiskey. This is not, this is not for that occasion, in my opinion. But out of a hundred, what would you rate this whiskey? I could see drinking this and having too much of it be too sweet for me. So. I'd probably give it a score around 89 because it is really good, but it's wow. too good almost. Wow, that 89. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with like more of like an 80 out of 100 for me. Um, not because it's not tasty. It, it really is good, and I, I, you should go try it for sure. But like he said, it is, it's, it's on the sweet end. And I mean, if I had to say sweet end, like out of 10, 10 being the sweetest, it's on like the 8, 9 range of sweetness for me i mean because i'm i'm more of a higher proof whiskey bourbon kind of guy so like this to me is like drinking dessert so but yeah i give it an 80 out of 100 i think it's worth a buy if you can get your hands on a bottle go ahead and do that um it's now, definitely do you think worth it something like this would compete with fireball ah see now that i think this could be the next fireball i really do yeah i think you know if you're out at the bar, everybody, all your friends, you know, like, hey, let's get shots, and everybody thinks Fireball. Let's get Fireball. Well, I think this could be a competitor for them. I think this could sit right next to that at the bar, and if you're going to get a round of shots for you and your friends for 3 $4 a shot, this right here, that's, Screwball. That's funny how they threw the ball in there. Yes. Fireball, Screwball. screwball. Yeah. They're, they're definitely trying to compete there. Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, give it a try, um, see what you think, and if you guys, you know, if you like it, don't like it, let me know, you know, let me know on the group page, I'm going to post this to, you know, my YouTube channel, which is Bourbon on the, on the Rise as well, um, go ahead and give us, you know, your honest opinion on it, give it a try, and let us know, and if you have any other um, bourbons or whiskeys you want us to give us, you know, give a review on, let us know, you know, we'll definitely do that. Well, you guys have a good night, and thanks for joining us.